Now to the latest on a convicted child killer's early release. Michael Woodmancy is set to get out of jail just hours from now. Woodmancy will be released from the ACI and into the care of the mental health facility tomorrow, two days earlier than scheduled. Woodmancy killed five-year-old Jason Foreman in 1975. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler spoke with Foreman's family. He joins us live now outside the ACI in Cranston with more. That's right, Susan. Michael Woodmancy will be a free man in a matter of hours. He shaved 12 years off a 40-year sentence for good behavior and uh, now will go from being a prisoner to a patient. Michael Woodmancy is trading in his prison cell for a room at Eleanor Slater Hospital. The convicted child killer will voluntarily commit himself for mental health treatment immediately following his release Friday. That's two days before his original release date because the hospital does not accept new patients from the ACI on weekends. It's not going to stop because just because he's being transferred to the um, facility, he can still get out because he's volunteering tiered himself commitment. Woodmancy admitted to murdering his five-year-old neighbor Jason Foreman in South Kingstown back in 1975. Foreman's older brother believes Woodmancy is still a threat to the public and should stay locked up. Mentally, I don't think he's stable and I think he may be going to some place that might help him get a little stable, but I, once you turn evil, there's no coming back. Foreman tells us Woodman C will be transported by a prison vehicle, likely by armed officers. There are still safeguards in place should Woodman C request a hospital release, but Foreman thinks he will and should stay put. Yeah, I would still be worried if he decides to step out the door at that facility. I would be really careful. That's the, and there's a lot of people that don't want him walking. Now, for safety reasons, prison officials won't reveal any of the details surrounding Woodman C's release. The Foreman family is fighting to toughen the state's good behavior law. For more information on a petition that they are trying to get signed, log on to our website and click on the No More section. Live in Cranston with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.